What's going on, people? I want to talk about uh, Donald Trump. And I want to talk about Donald Trump and his uh, so-called Muslim bans. First of all, you can't really talk about the, uh, the, the madness uh, and the unprecedented nature of his Muslim bans without also talking about the madness and unprecedented nature of the fact that America is presently engaged in seven wars. America has never been engaged in seven wars. Now, of course, when I say we're engaged in seven wars, I'm not also including uh, operations that we're involved in with entities like uh, JSOC, uh, SOCOM, uh, and other similar uh, branches of the military. Uh, the last time I read an article on that subject, we were engaged in, if I, if I remember correctly, it was 71 wars around the globe, but that number is constantly going up because it said prior, uh, about a few years prior to that, the number was somewhere around the, the high 50s, I believe. So that number went from that number all the way up to 71 in just a few years. So all in all, we're probably engaged militarily uh, in probably about 80 to 90 theaters. I'm just guessing that the number is probably, you know, it's gone up since I last read the article. Now, we care so much about these people being able to come to the United States. And I'm not saying that's wrong. But I find it strange that so many people care about these people being able to travel here. But those people don't seem to care so much about the fact that we are subjecting these people to a horrific way of life by constantly bombing the shit out of their countries. I mean, I've read so many stories where people talk about how their family was here one moment and then the next moment an entire family is dead. We have created so many orphans around the globe. It's just, it's just deeply saddening to even continue to think about it. I mean, just, just imagine that. You're, you're here with your family one minute and the next minute all of them, all of them are dead. There are so many situations like that the children, the elderly, your wife or your husband or whatever, there's only you left, and that's it. And this is what we subject these people to. I was reading a story about people who live in these countries that were constantly illegally droning. And say, so, you know, you're just walking down the street and these things are constantly flying overhead and you don't know whether they're going to strike or not. You can hear them almost on a daily basis, but you don't know whether they're going to strike. We're killing people in weddings. We're striking nurseries, hospitals, the whole nine. That's not to mention the fact that we're backing Israel almost unconditionally. And Israel is bombing UN facilities even when the UN has gone completely out of their way to let them know the coordinates of the UN facilities that's housing women and children. And Israel still bombs it anyway. We're backing that. And then we go to the UN and we defend Israel for that so that they won't be brought up on war crimes. Now, while what Donald Trump did as far as banning uh, is sort of unprecedented in a couple of ways. Uh, number one, he banned seven countries. Uh, don't really want to give him too much of a, a hard time about that because we are currently at war, as I was saying before, with seven countries. We have seven major wars going on right now. And so, I, you know, you just got to kind of assume that as time goes on, if this thing gets worse, there are going to be some unprecedented things that's going to happen. Now, what he did that was really crazy was with the green card holders and people who had a legal right to be here, uh, and they quickly backed off of that. But he, by no stretch of the imagination, is the first one to ban. You had Jimmy Carter, who uh, banned uh, Iranians from enter entering the United States during the hostage situation. You had Bill Clinton, who banned uh, Haitians from entering the United States, though he promised he would help them to actually come into the United States. 
And then you can jump all the way up to uh, Barack Obama in 2011 when uh, he banned Iraqis from entering the United States. And not only did he ban them, during his ban, uh, a couple of individuals, uh, Iraqi uh, individuals, who actually helped the United States, uh, they actually ended up losing their lives. And there were, were several whose lives were in danger. So during uh, Barack Obama's ban in 2011 of Iraqi citizens, there were uh, assets, Iraqi assets, who actually helped the United States uh, in, in defeating uh, ISIS. Uh, they, they, they were in danger, and they, they got caught up in that madness. So now we move to a situation that happened uh, in 2015 where Barack Obama and his White House wanted to uh, ban Syrians. Now, I'm not going to get into how long it was supposed to be, but they wanted to ban Syrians from entering the United States. And it wasn't just Barack Obama. There were a lot of top leading Democrats who felt the exact same way. You had uh, Dianne Feinstein. Uh, you had Chuck Schumer, who called it a, a pause, which is political speak, because it, it was really undetermined as to how long they would be banned from the United States. And I guess he figured the word pause would be a better word to use. Uh, and you had Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin wanted to stop them from entering the United States, period, indefinitely. And as I said earlier, you had uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein, who was also in, a, in agreement that uh, there should be a pause, which is just political speak for ban. Uh, here the article says, longtime Senator Dianne Feinstein, the ranking member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, warned in a statement Tuesday, we need to be very careful about Syrian refugee admissions. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, check the description section. I'm going to leave some articles regarding what we talked about as well as a few others regarding Trump and some of the uh, other serious things that he's up to. Uh, him and the Republicans are changing laws to allow coal companies and probably other companies as well to dump whatever they want in your water, in your river. Uh, I'm going to also leave an article in there about what he's doing uh, concerning the uh, State Department. And he's uh, firing a lot of employees who work for departments who basically are part of the checks and balances in our system. So he's firing these people and he's basically getting rid of anybody who can stand in his way. So, uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure that, uh, that's something that Steve Bannon is telling him to do. Steve Bannon is, is really much smarter than he is. And I'm also going to leave something in there about Steve Bannon. Uh, I'm going to put something in the, in the description section about him. Please read that if you don't read anything else. This, this, guy is, this guy is really the president, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, he, he, he's a bigot. I have, to go about, I have to go by what comes out of his own mouth. You know, some people say uh, he's a, a big show. Uh, that he's just taking advantage of people uh, just to make money off of the weak-minded. Well, you know what? That, that might be true. Uh, I know we have uh, one gentleman. I forget this guy's name. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up too and see if I can throw that in the uh, description section. Some guy that's kind of like Bannon, and uh, come to find out he's a fraud. You know, uh, he's a big Jew hater, but come to find out his wife is is Jewish. So uh, the uh, neo Nazis are real upset with that guy. But people are saying that Bannon is basically the same way. But you know what? Look, I'm not going to read the guy's mind. I'm just going to be safe and go off what he says he is. And according to him, he's a big old bigot. So I've actually heard some of the guy's shows. I heard some of the things he said. And uh, look, he, he's an open bigot. And when a person is an open bigot, who am I to say they're not a bigot? So I'm just going to roll with that. All right. So check that out. All right, guys. And uh, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys later.